first night in Chengdu, you know, like the hotel was fine. The only thing is designed for people who are meter fifty, but for my height, it's kind of um, too short. <laughs> So yesterday we wanted to go to see one snack street here in Chengdu but uh, once we arrived the area was too crowded and itself it's like it was a disaster place. Now we're going to go there to see to see that street and probably after that we're going to go to see pandas and after pandas we're going to leave. <laughs> We are at Jinli Ancient Street, which is located near the Uho Temple. Uh, what can you buy antiques and handicrafts on? So the street was set up and opened for public in the southern fall. Walking in this street, historic lanes, old official residences, vernacular dwelling, inks and shops will bring you back to the ancient China. The elegant style of the architectures tell you what Sichuan looks like during the Qin Dynasty. Sichuan culture is inlaid in this ancient street. So let's stroll around and see how many things we can find. Recovery by Chindu Uho Temple Museum. Dini as a part of Uho Temple. Uh, the total length of the street 550 meters. Uh, the street is now Chindu's famous pedestrian street, so called First Street of West Sichuan. The uh, name the Southern Five uh, was named as one of the national top 10 city commercial pedestrian streets and as famous as Beijing, Wuhan, Chongqing, Tianjin and other famous old streets. 
Uh, within the area, there are also hotels, restaurants, tea houses, bars and cafes. The street is very popular with both locals and tourists, especially at night. Mm, this type of flower tea is really famous in Sichuan province. The tea varieties here extensive, not limited only to flower tea. And I've heard that here are some performances of uh, opera around this area. So I would recommend to visit this street not only during the daytime but also in the evening, maybe afternoon from 12, 7 or more, depends on your time time man management and time you really have. This is not one street, there is a network of several narrow streets, including uh, fountain and small lakes, uh, lovers, uh, pavilions and symbolic locks. The location allows to taste local snacks and beverages. That uh, was nice to spend some time there. Uh, it's, uh, it is overcrowded and very noisy. Uh, but if you have to have, if you want to have some fun, welcome. Maybe I like to try. This guy doesn't want to try. Is your life in trying to eat some food. Good. It's nice. Should I try it before? <laughs> That's a rabbit? You eat a rabbit before? I think it's a rabbit. Oh, nice! Meat. I don't know what type of meat. Hope it's not the rabbit. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay.
people roaming around. Wow, I think I got the real boy girl. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> Our go to was uh, Chindu Panda base. Uh, so we went there and purchased tickets. Tickets uh, cost us approximately 55 uh, RMB, which is really easy to get. Uh, by the way, in order to get here, we uh, took a taxi and we reached a pretty com comfortable from the green area. Uh, so the best time to visit this park. It's all year round, especially before 9, 9 am of a day, because uh, by that time pandas are kind of active. I recommend to visit visit this place. You need to spend at least two to three hours. Uh, otherwise, uh, you cannot really enjoy it because you need to kind of scroll to wait for some pandas to come out. Not every time they are like uh, so close to the no, fence. Um, yeah. Open hours of the the place it's from starts from 7:30 and at 6 o'clock. So be sure like to manage your time very well. By the way, we also found that there is a red panda, which I uh, wasn't aware exists even. They are like 10,000 uh, in the world and uh, it looks like a cat, very small. Uh, we spent uh, lots of time trying to capture it because it's, uh, it's not uh, human friendly. Uh, we were hunting it like uh, for a good uh, half an hour trying to, to get the best shot. <laughs> The base was founded in 1987 and it started just with six giant pandas that were rescued from the wild. Unfortunately, when we reached the nursery, we found a sign uh, stating like the time of breeding, breeding for pandas is from June uh, to September. So right now they have no none of the newborn pandas in incubators, nothing to see. And it's suggested to go outside and see how those cute <laughs> little pandas are a plane. Uh, those ones are already grown up, grown up, uh, not really big size, but they're like in maybe toddlers, you can say. That's my, that's my evaluation. So we found uh, many panda enclosures, like at least 10. I appreciate all you guys.